This is a middle loop quick, quick, quick class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a quick class on live streaming to Facebook directly from the smart controller. In this quick class, we'll start with a quick overview. Next, we'll show the settings on the Facebook side of the stream, then the settings on the smart controller, plus we'll go live. And we'll conclude with a quick microphone test. We've tested several. If you're new to our channel, we have a whole slew of tutorials like this one on DJI drones and controllers on a variety of topics. Subscribing is your best way to get to them. And if you find this video useful, go ahead and hit that like button. It'll help others find it too. Now, let's get started. In our last video, we showed a method of how to live stream to Facebook using a number of different remote controllers, including the original smart controller. But that video showed an indirect method, the use of an internet-based service that receives the stream, converts it, and then passes it on to Facebook. It's a little convoluted, but it works on most drones, including those that aren't compatible with the secure protocol that Facebook uses. But some drones can live stream to Facebook Direct without the extra step. As it turns out, it has less to do with the smart controller and more to do with which app you're using to fly the drone. We tested the smart controller on two drones, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mini 2. The Mavic 2 Pro worked just fine, and the Mini 2 did not. That's because the Mavic 2 Pro uses the DJI Go 4 app, and the Mini 2 uses the regular Fly app. We've included a list of drones in the description that are compatible with the DJI Go 4 app and should be able to stream to Facebook directly. Today, we'll be showing the Mavic 2 Pro. There are a couple different flavors of live streaming on Facebook. There's what I call the one-touch social media streaming, where you basically tap a button and you're live using the device's camera and microphone. Then there's the other, much more flexible type, which is what I call encoder-based live streaming. An encoder is either a hardware device or a device, like a computer, running encoder software. The encoder takes raw video and audio, compresses and formats it, and then sends it on to a streaming server. Facebook will act as a streaming server. It supports both the encoder type as well as the one-touch type of live streaming. And today, we'll be using a feature of the DJI Go 4 app that essentially turns the smart controller into an encoder. To set up Facebook for an encoder-based live stream, log into your account from a computer. You cannot do this from a mobile device. Facebook on a mobile device can only do the one-touch live streaming we mentioned earlier. So, from your computer, once logged in, click Live Video. Here, you have a choice. You might prefer using Live Event, which is where you pre-schedule your live stream so that you can promote it ahead of time and send out invitations. But for today's purposes, we want to stream immediately, so we'll be using Go Live. At the top, if it's not already selected, click Streaming Software. Go ahead and add a title and description. It's not required, but a good idea, especially if you're posting publicly. Speaking of posting publicly, here you can pick your audience. By default, it's set to public, and your live stream will be discoverable by all Facebook users. But you have a lot of options. You can limit it to just your friends, or a subset of your friends. But today we're going to keep it private, so we'll select Only Me and click Save. And that's it. Facebook is ready to receive the stream from the drone. But before we go, let's open Advanced Settings. There are two key data points we're going to need when setting up the smart controller. They are the stream key and the server URL. The URL always stays the same. The stream key, on the other hand, will change every time you do a live stream, unless you choose to use a static key, which is what we prefer since the smart controller will remember these settings and will make it easier on future flights. To use the same key over and over again, set the persistent stream key switch to on. Now, you can type these values into the smart controller by hand, but getting it right is a bit challenging. So we recommend that you copy and paste these values into a text file and save it to a USB flash drive. If you'd like to see a video where we use this copy and paste method, we've included it in the last video we did on live streaming. We've added a link in the description that will get you right to the right spot in that video. Just a quick note, in that video, we show you that you need to add a forward slash. But when copying from this screen in Facebook, you can skip that step. The slash is already included here. Finally, notice that the Go Live button is grayed out. That's because Facebook isn't receiving our stream yet. 
So we'll go ahead and leave this browser window open and come back in just a minute. Once your live stream is set up on Facebook and you have the stream key and server URL, you're ready to fire up your drone and send it stream. With the smart controller connected to the internet, we have it connected to the Mavic 2 Pro using the DJI Go 4 app. For today's purposes, we just have it sitting on the desk pointing out the window on a very gray day. Okay, make sure you have your video settings the way you want them. Basically, treat the settings like you would any other video. We do recommend a 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio. And you might also notice that we have ours set to 4K, which really doesn't matter. The stream will be limited to high definition. All right, tap the three dots in the upper right. If you're not already on the General Settings tab, tap the three dots in the lower left. Then, midway down the screen, find Choose Live Streaming Platform and tap the right arrow. Now tap RTMP Custom. Here, you're prompted for the stream address. As you can see, it remembered the setting from the previous flight, which will be clearing out. If you wait a second, the virtual keyboard opens automatically. Now, if you don't need to change it, you can just close the virtual keyboard. But to clear it out, tap on it until a portion is highlighted. Then tap Select All, and then tap the Back button on the keyboard. This is where we recommended earlier that you copy and paste this data, which is what we'll do. But if you're planning on typing it in by hand, first enter the server URL, and then the stream key with no spaces in between. When complete, Close the virtual keyboard by hitting the back button on the smart controller, and then tap Next. Are you ready? Tap Start, and our stream is being sent to Facebook. Let's jump back over to the computer and see what's going on there. And there you have it. We're now receiving the stream from the smart controller. You'll also notice that the Go Live button is no longer grayed out. And if we click it, we're now live. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see some data about the health of your live stream. I would imagine that you're probably wondering if you always have to return to Facebook in order to hit that Go Live button. Well, it depends. If you remember earlier when we were setting up Facebook, we had the option to Go Live or select Live Event. We selected Go Live because we wanted to go live immediately. This method does require that you leave the browser open and hit the Go Live button as we showed. However, if you use Live Event, this feature requires that you enter a start date and time. Once you save the event, you can close the browser. Then, at the date and time you specified, Facebook will automatically go live. Now, this is assuming that it's receiving the stream at that time. If not, it'll just sit there and wait until it receives the stream. All right, to stop the live stream, you can either do it from here by clicking on the End Live Video button, or, back on the controller, tap the Live Streaming icon in the upper left. Tap end live streaming, and then tap yes to confirm it. Ending it on the controller will kill the live stream on Facebook and immediately start to render the video for playback on your page. We tested three microphones while live streaming from the smart controller to Facebook, and all three worked pretty well. We started with the internal mic built into the smart controller. This mic is on the bottom right. Now it works, but I think you'll agree that it does have a bit of a distant or off-mic sound to it. This is a test of the smart controller internal microphone. Next, we tested the Sennheiser Pro Audio XS lavalier mic. This is a wired mic which has a USB Type-C connector, so it plugs right into the smart controller. And here's what it sounds like. And this is a test of the Sennheiser microphone. And finally, we tested our favorite, the wireless DJI mic system. This is a test of the DJI wireless microphone. I have to say, we really like this mic system. And for both of these mics, we've included a link in the description if you're interested. So that's it for this quick class. I hope you found it useful. And if you're interested in other videos on DJI products, we have a lot more. Be sure to check out our channel. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying.